Producer Charlie is joining us once again for an update on what's happening currently in films. So, Producer Charlie, what's up first? Okay, so first we're going to start with the highly anticipated of course, Argyle. The hot movie right now. Right? Now, this is a PG-13 spy action comedy. So, basically the plot is about a reclusive author who writes espionage novels about a secret agent and a global spy syndicate and realizes the plot of the new book she's writing for her series is mirroring real world events as it unfolds okay. around her. So, fun movie, star studded cast. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Bryce Dallas Howard, Henry Cavill, Samuel L. Jackson, Catherine O'Hara, John Cena, Dua Lipa. Which, oh like, my. it's so fun seeing these random groups of star studded cast together because you would never see them in like a normal right. movie, you know? Like, they just would never make sense together. Right. It's just but one of those, so like, fun. it's like Valentine's Day from 2010 yeah. with so many random people in it. Yeah. Now, this has a lot of mixed reviews on it. Okay. I thought it was very fun, longer than it needed to be, because it's like mm. closer to two and a half hours. Okay. Oh. And, but it's, a, it's a fun. I think they're play, making it into multiple movies coming. Oh. That's what it seems like. Okay. Um, so over the weekend, for, since it's opened last, like Wednesday was the first showing of it, mm -hmm. um, it has grossed 35 million worldwide. Wow. But its budget was 200 million. So they got some time oh, to go, some wow. room to go. I, right. I read something that said for them to break even, they'll have to make 500 million. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right? You need to put it on streaming. That's, what, that's how they'll do it. Can they right? yeah. do that with streaming? So what, something fun I found was that when asked about her character, Bryce Dallas Howard cited Taylor Swift, you know, I love Taylor, we as know. her inspiration for the character explaining she is a cat lady um, and she's got this awesome backpack. She likes Argyle sweatshirts, and she's just got a little dorky. Oh, I love you know? that. That's so, right. And yeah. I mean, you know, Taylor's got her cats, and she's had a picture with a cat in the backpack. Yeah. So it makes sense. And that's, I mean, that's a good positive inspiration. You know, yeah. it's like right. there's a lot worse options out there. Right. So, yeah. so something also I found interesting was okay, the trailer's been out way too long. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they only used the f uh, scenes from the first 28 minutes of the film in the trailer to avoid spoilers. Oh, that's, that's kind of clever, though. Which I like because a lot of trailers anymore will um, show too much, give yeah. too much yeah, away. Yeah, you're done. You don't need to see right? that yeah. in the trailer. Exactly. Yeah. I incredible. also find that they put too much of their comedy yes. in mm -hmm. the trailer. All anymore. the good jokes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, what's up next? So next we have a streaming movie. This okay. is on Paramount Plus, The Tiger's Apprentice. It's a PG animated fantasy okay. about Tom Lee, a Chinese American boy, who after the death of his grandmother has to be apprenticed by a talking tiger and learn ancient magic to become a new guardian of an ancient phoenix. Okay. All right. So this has a pretty good <laughs> cast as well. Um, so we, for our main characters, we have like the voices of Henry Golding and Brandon Suhu. Uh -huh. And then we also have the voices of Lucy Liu, Sandra O, oh, Michelle uh, Yo, Greta Lee. Big so, names. Big yeah, names. Yeah, people recognize really those. Big. And so this was, uh, it's based on a 2003 novel of the same name. Okay. And it, this has had some interesting flow is how it was made. Because originally in like 2008, Cartoon Network was originally gonna make this. Oh. Into like a semi-live action movie. Okay. And then that didn't ever happen. And then it was supposed, Paramount picked it up. And it was supposed to have a theatrical release of February 22. Oh. But the pandemic pushed it back. Three other release dates never happened. And then Paramount changed it to a streaming movie instead. Interesting. So maybe that was where they met their success, but. Maybe. All right, It's streaming on up? Paramount Plus. Okay, last up. It. So in last up we have, this comes out this weekend. This is Out of Darkness. Out of Darkness. This is an R-rated horror thriller. Uh, takes place in the Stone Age. This takes place <laughs> in uh, the Stone Age about a gang of early humans that band together in search of a new land, and they suspect a malevolent mystical being is hunting them down. The clan are forced to confront the danger they never envisioned. Oh. Now this it was it, it was an interesting one. I got to see this in advance before it comes out this weekend. Okay. Um, this is, is actually a British film, and it was shot in the pandemic in Scotland in 2020. Oh. And it premiered uh, last year a few times at film festivals okay. before it was picked up for American distribution rights and came out, it comes out this weekend. Okay, what were your thoughts on the film? Um, it's definitely had me a grip in the edge of my seat a little bit. Okay. Not like scary, like, oh my gosh. But you know, some, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just have you more like suspenseful. Yeah, I like okay. that. And I it's, like not, that it's not bloody like some thrillers okay. are, you know? Mm. So, um, and it was originally titled uh, The Origin. Oh, okay. And it, they, this is a, like, it's not really for a foreign film, but it's subtitled because they're spoken in a language they created for the film. Ooh. So very okay. good film. Also coming out this weekend is uh, Lisa Frankenstein. Okay. Starring Catherine Newton and Cole Sprouse. This is kind of a Valentine's-y one, you know. Um, I think, I believe it's really uh, PG, I think, mm. PG-13, something like that. Okay. And also AMC IMAX, they're re-releasing the 2021 Dune. Oh, that's Dune exciting. Before Dune Part 2 yeah. comes out. 
next month. Very soon. Oh, yes, cool. with another okay. star set of cast. Yes, very. Very exciting stuff. All right, well, Charles, thank you so much. Lots of great films. Go check them out and let us know what you think. Maybe mm -hmm. producer Charles and you can have a little chat. All right.